So what is identity? I mentioned before, identity is a service to customize the look and feel of OBIE. Uh, BICG has taken the painstaking effort to go in and look at all of the style sheets behind the scenes and figure out if I change X, Y, Z, here's the impact on the front end. There is documentation provided by Oracle. However, we've taken that documentation to the next level um, by figuring out every nook and cranny instead of having you to go through the hundreds of pages and try to figure out what you need to customize. Mike Jellen of BI Consulting Group, uh, Vice President of Delivery and Strategy, uh, responsible for the successful delivery of all of our projects, um, and also head up the BICG University side of our organization, uh, custom, we have 13 custom courses that center around OBI-EE. So there's two different levels of identity. There's a advanced and a basic. Your basic identity offering is going to be a, a light look and feel. We're going to change a couple of logos, um, a couple of the colors at the top of the screen, uh, which we'll get into in a little bit here. But the advanced is going to take it to a whole other level. But we're going to take it down and change every single piece of OBIEE, at least from a color perspective. We can change all the default images to match your organization's uh, images. And so advanced really gets down to the nitty gritty and almost no option is off the table for customizing Google IE and look and feel. So at the high level, here is kind of the, the process for identity, the standard blue. We take our inspiration source, in this case for Embark, we have their, their main intranet site, or internet site. Um, and here's really the final product. So here's what the dashboard is gonna look like to an end user. They have the customized login screen. Um, very Embark-like, matches their websites um, quite well. Um, and even from a developer's perspective, you get into answers, you get into delivers. That has been branded as well. So it wasn't a, a one-stop, just do the dashboards of the page. It's a complete customization. Here's another example from uh, Medtronic. Medtronic has a very blue color scheme, blue and green, which isn't too far off from the out-of-the-box OBIEE. Um, however, we can see how we've taken and used and really matched up Medtronic's website, um, the different shades of gray, how we've applied that to the top using a particular image, um, and then to apply the different color schemes on OBIE. And while the final product isn't dr dramatically, dramatically different, it's enough from an end user perspective that they have a comfort factor not only with their website but with OBIE from day one. Now you might be thinking of Truckers Inc. and Orange as being, wow, that's a very dramatic color. Um, but for Truckers Inc. it's very important uh, to them that their website matches up with OBIE or vice versa, OBIE matches their website. And so we can see how how this orange has been applied is a very dramatic effect as the before and after. Um, and they were very excited once they saw the final product and said, wow, this matches our website quite well. But for some people outside of that organization, that orange is very uh, striking, we'll call it. Well, identity is gonna help you out with a number of different pieces. Uh, the first piece is gonna be your user adoption. When somebody logs into OBIEE -E, and they see a custom look and feel, the custom colors, the custom brand, the logos they're used to seeing, that very first time that they log in and they see that information, it's going to have a very powerful impact to that user because they're going to have this immediate comfort with OBIEE. -E. Even before they go through their initial training, they're going to say, hey, this looks like something else I've used in the past because it is going to mirror either intranet or another application within your organization. And another way that identity can really help out is to differentiate your environments from dev, test, and production. Many, many times, and I'm as guilty as anybody else, I'll log into the wrong environment, make a change, and realize that I just made a change in maybe a test environment or a production environment when I should have done it in dev. So identity is not a piece of software. Well, BICG, you know, has a process in order to identify the various pieces behind the scenes um, to streamline the process on our side. What you get as the customer is that you get the files 
the custom skin, the custom style sheets um, that you put on your BI server. And you just point your instance config file to leverage those skins and style sheets to pick up the changes that we've made um, to the various colors and images within OBI EE. So of course we just don't build it, set the colors, and go away. We want to work with you to say, here's the current version. Let's get it up and running on your server, your BI server. And then for you, and typically your marketing team, to look at, are these the right colors? Did we apply them in the appropriate kind of manner that, that you were expecting? Um, and also to, to go through and to make sure that we hit all the places, because there, behind the scenes there are hundreds of different things things being files that we can tweak and different parameters within those files that we are tweaking. So to make sure that it's in your environment, that it's running, and you can say, all right, now I see what it looks like, here's where I want to tweak. So we definitely have that iterative process, which fits into our overall methodology of a OBIE project where we have the iterative design. Um, so entity identity is no different than that iterative design of a dashboard or a page. The question was, how long does it take to implement identity? Well, there's identity basic and identity advanced. And identity basic would take you a couple of days, um, typically three days to implement it, but we have to work with you in order to figure out what is that inspiration source, if there needs to be image work done on the main corporate logo with the answers and delivers logo, if there's certain standards we need to follow, we need that as inputs before we can really get going, but we definitely work with you and say, here's what we need, you know, here's the format, you know, so it would be very easy for you to have a quick turnaround time for that. Now the other piece to that is identity advanced. How long does identity advanced take to, to implement? And of course, that's going to be a little bit um, depending upon how much customizations you want to put into OBI EE. Um, for some customers, we've done it in a week, week and a half, um, gone through and we talked about the iterative approach earlier. We had one round, we gave it back to them and they said, wow, this is exactly what I want. Great, you guys are done. Other times we did the same approach and we've had to go back three, four times in order to, to get it just right. So it depends upon how deep you want to go into the customizations and then when you see the return product, is it what you're expecting or do you have any additional tweaks? Now if you want to go out and actually see a demo of identity, it basically goes through this presentation to help you understand and get a better feel for what is possible to show to people within your organization, hey, BICG has this identity tool, I think it'd be really good to explore their product offering. Um, go to the website, a lot of great information out there and also a way for you to say, I'm interested, what do I do next? And so the, the one takeaway that you want to have about identity is that identity is a service that allows you to customize the color scheme and the look and feel of OBI EE.